When is vagina's yeah. biggest cocks Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the slogan? <laughs> Shut it! <laughs> <laughs> shut it in, shut it down. Pack it up, pack it down. Let, uh, how does it go? Pack it, pack it, pack it up, in. pack it in. Let, let me begin. begin. What, are, what are they packing? Battle me, that's a sin? Whoa. A sin? Sin. That's, hold on. Let me ask you a question real quick about sins. Do you think are, Johnny Sins is religious? Uh, no, he fucks everything. Because his last name is Sins. That's what I think it, oh, hold on. Is Sins with two ends or one? One. Johnny Sins. Sins. Sins is with two ends? What if it's short for Cincinnati? Which is where I'm going to be uh, August 6th through the 8th. <laughs> what a plug. Now, what if Johnny Sins is short for sincerely? Johnny sincerely. And it's sincerely like. Sincerely my cum on your face? <laughs> yeah. Okay. What if it is? You ever Johnny, come, right in. You ever come on a girl's face and you go, uh, you feel bad? You're like, oh, darn it. Shoot. I feel bad. No. No? Because usually, you cause usually they're, they're asking for it. And you're like, yeah, here you go. Right. But then. The, but Amazon then, Prime. One day delivery. Psych. It's here. Hello, one day. You can go a day? Do without, without nothing? I fucked this morning. I had a session where I, like, okay. when I, I, well, hold on. I, right. It's, it's going to get to a, a point Monday? where it's not good. Huh? Uh, on a Monday? <laughs> this guy just starting his week off, dude. Strong. Dude, I'm not a bank. It's not a bank holiday. You don't fuck on Mondays? I don't know. You could, but that's it. Like, then you're all relaxed. Monday mornings, I like to be, like, tweaked out on caffeine. Just being like, yeah. we got it fucking this week. I'm making robot noises for no fucking reason. I Jim, to vape up my ass, huh? <laughs> I like that type of... <laughs> what flavor? Vaping your Pino ass. Pinot Grigio. Um, regret. That's the only flavor of vape you can have. But so Monday... Yeah. I mean, sure, that's a great way to start the week. But then you. But then it's like... I, it's a great Monday, you know, three-day weekend, Labor Day holiday. You know? Yeah, I just... What was I saying? Oh, fucked on Mondays. It's probably not the best idea. What was I saying? It would... This, you ever have one of those sessions where you put it in, you go, I'm coming fast. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I thought I was alone in this. I was doing yeah. I was doing all my techniques. I was 17. Dude, I was like pinching myself. Also, real pinching quick. Pinching yourself, just reading the alphabet backwards, Z, B, oh, yeah. come fuck. Just thinking about my grandma's hands. I was doing everything to just not come. Thinking about my grandma's well, hands made me come faster. Exactly. Right, guys, I was just going to say, you kept Comedy. it in the family. <laughs> you got to think about something normal, like not wanting to bang your mom, and then you won't come. Yeah, I need to. Yeah, I think the opposite of my mom, which is my dad. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, speaking of Johnny Sincerely, hey guys, we're on a tour. We're always comedy's back. LA is not. I don't know what's happening. Also, the, the mass mandate like came back in Los Angeles, and then me and Michael and some people went out to a bar the day of the mandate. Nobody gave a fuck. Nobody gave a fuck. No one cares now. I literally was just no. in two different places before I came to the studio. Yeah. Zippy people wearing masks. You, you ever see like kids riding a, uh, a bike and they have their helmet, but it's not on, but it's like it's like on their yep. handlebars, but yep. they have the helmet. Yep. That's how it is with the mask. Everybody's like they got like a holster for their mask. Like I got it on me, but I ain't wearing this. You know, it's the same thing as when you put it on your arm. You're like, hey, it's it's here. Right, right, exactly. Here, and you have somebody's like, hey, and you're like, yeah, right here. And they're like, okay, yeah, it's, it's, it's hall pass. You think ugly people are pissed that there's no masks anymore? Yeah. Because there's some people that are mask hot, mm -hmm. that have really hot eyes, disgusting oh, yeah. faces, and they're like, I'm hot with a mask on. Pissed. Yeah. What I thought was interesting is there's like, I forget who it is. It was like maybe like, a, it was either a rapper or a DJ, but his whole thing was wearing a mask before the pandemic. Oh. So now everybody like afterwards just thinks he's like a super like scared of this virus but he's like no this is my style and then in six years like hey man i think we've moved past it we have technology to advance this and he's like no no, no this is my style and they're like cool man yeah betterhelp.com backslash Back socks. socks do it talk to someone anyways who knows i was just i was just wondering if he like when that happened was he pissed or was he like they copied my whole fucking flow they copied Soldier my whole boy. flow they cool. copied my whole flow Tour dates. Tour dates. Do Ladies it. Ladies and gentlemen, this weekend, this weekend, uh -oh. five shows, San Diego, Wales Vagina, San Diego. Tickets are uh, <laughs> call a real estate agent because they're moving, baby. They are moving. And then uh, after that, we have July 29th in Burbank, California, Flappers Comedy Club indoors. And then we got August 6th through the 8th, Cincinnati, asterisk. It's Liberty Township, which you're going to be there soon. I'll be there uh, soon, yeah. Let me know how it is. I will. People who live in Liberty Township, let me know how it is. What do I do out there? Get a... Skyline chili in my ass? Well, it goes out of the ass. It does. Anyways, and after we got Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City, uh, the 14th through the 16th. And then we got Spokane, Washington. Second to last week of August. That's August, uh, I don't know, 19th through 21, maybe. All these I'm very excited for. I'm just impressed you can remember this shit. Every time we do the tour dates. I, I mean, we've been reading I these tour dates for like nine weeks. Now. I can't remember. If you ask me right, I've been looking at them. I've been looking at them all enough when you were talking. Where are you flying tomorrow? I am. Oh, oh, hold on. What's today? Wednesday. That means 
Boom, boom, boom. Liberty Township. I'll be doing a show tonight. Come out, you scoundrels, okay? Cincinnati, Liberty Township, same place. Maybe not. Who cares? Come out to the show. It's going to be good. Um, I hope there's tickets left. I, don't, I haven't done a ticket count. Hopefully there's left. Okay, tomorrow... July 22nd, I will be in Columbus, Ohio. Come out, Columbus. Christopher Columbus, bad guy, but everyone thinks he's good. Um, August 18th, I'll be in Tampa, Florida. And then August 19th, I'll be in Orlando, Florida, having sex with Waffle House uh, workers. No, I won't have a girlfriend. Guys, come out to the shows. It's going to be great. Uh, get tickets, blockcomedy.com, and uh, get tickets for Trev's uh, shows. TrevorWallsComedy.com. That's my how website. Much, how much was your domain for your full name? For my full name? MichaelBlaustein.com. Uh, Trevor Wallace, like two years ago, was like two grand. And I was like, huh? I actually looked up the person who had Michael Blast on ICOM. He was a loser. No, <laughs> maybe not. I don't know. Why does whoever have like the name you want just like the worst? Like my, whoever has Trevor Wallace full on Twitter hasn't been active in like eight years. And every once in a while, I just report him. And he, but he's also a ginger named Trevor Wallace. Whoa. Is the world a simulation? Maybe. Yes. Dogs aren't real. Speaking of simulations, what? I went into another dimension recently. I've been so happy to talk about this because we haven't got I haven't got the full we were lowdown. Too busy uh, talking about you falling in love. How are things? Things are going phenomenal. I love. It. I banged tonight. Tonight. Today. I mean, you didn't finish that. Sentence. I didn't. I didn't go into I, it. I, I, I'm gonna right now. Okay, finish. Should it. I talk? To <laughs> yeah. Cool. Call it. Get on the phone. Remember when she said she wasn't gonna listen and she listened? Listen. She's listening right now. Right out the gate. She said, "I'm not hey, gonna listen." And then right at the gate, first and then she realized it's a quality podcast with a producer, yeah, its own studio, and a fucking Monster Energy drink vending machine and fruit snacks, which we don't have any more of. Give me the fruit snacks. Costco sponsors BetterHelp.com. Listen, Costco, okay, Costco. Jesus. All right, you had sex this morning. I had sex this what morning. What about it? But what this is what was odd about it because sometimes I, I'll be you honest. You came too quick. So, huh? You came too quick, and that was the odd part. Well, hit, I'm gonna get to it. Here's the thing. Uh huh. I'm not gonna flex, but I have pretty good control over my over my cum my cum my cum cum right uh -huh. my my ejaculations. Yeah, we, we okay, yeah, you we, got that? Yeah, we got that. Great. We said cum, yeah. Today, mm -hmm. put it in. Oh, daddy gonna come fast. Daddy gonna come fast. I was literally See? doing. I was really doing all my like young techniques. I was like hold my breath. I was pinching. Here's the thing, though. I think, I think she knows about my pinching because I told her. So my hand went down there to pinch. She moved her head. She moved her ah! head out the way. I was like, you know. Damn. You know my techniques. So what so what, what are you going to do? Came fast. Can, could, how, I, real, how quick? How many TikToks? About five TikToks. Oh, five That's over TikToks. a minute. One position? It, it was about, well. Did you opt out and be like, I'm going to go down on you? Or would you just accept the defeat? Well, here's the thing. Feet. I didn't, who feet. But I didn't, uh. When I know I'm gonna, I always love when I make Gabe laugh. That makes me feel good. It does when I'm when I'm listening, or yeah. like re-listening to the episode, and he like he, he does it so like. <sighs> it makes my me low, so happy. Lowercase italics laugh. Lowercase italics, <laughs> dude. Whose whose podcast is it? Tom Skurs, the, their producer, has one of the best laughs in the game. It's like a, it's a it's a very loud laugh, but it's like from a different room. That's good. The different room part's great. Anyways, yeah, you coming quick. So I'm gonna ask you, do you ever put it in? You go, oh no, this is gonna be a short session. Maybe yeah. you're not gonna come right then, but you're like, oh, this is gonna be a short session. Yeah. That's what happened. So I was just switching positions, but too fast. Like I was like three pump switch, three pump switch, just so I could get some type of other yeah, sensation yeah, so yeah. I didn't come. But you, 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 I'm just, all I'm doing is like just delaying the inevitable come fast. Right. Yeah. So, but, but you yeah. got multiple positions out of it, you know? Yeah, but they weren't like, ooh, let's switch it up because like it's hot. Yeah. It was yeah. like for function. It was like so. Did you I don't say anything, know. or did you? Or did you say anything? We're like, I'm so sorry. I'm no. nervous. Hi, no. <laughs> my no. name's Michael. No, 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 no. It was just. I mean, I just. I was something in the air out there. I don't know what it was. It there was a. You know what it was? It was a little more foreplay than than normal. Like a lot of like kissing. You know what I mean? Okay. A lot okay. of kissing. Little, little, a lot of passion. Little bit, little bit of build up. There was build up. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what it is. You just, it's like you're past the point of return. The second you went in, you're like, this is, this is not going to last long. And there's, and there's just not much you can do to make that a thing. I mean, there is, you just fucking blue chew, blue chew.com promo code socks. Every <laughs> I, I think in the show in Huntington, I said that on something. I said something. You did. You did. I remember it, that. I, <laughs> and it hit. I was like, oh, you guys listen to the podcast. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This is a branded set. No, it's not. I wish. Anyways, so did she say anything after? Like, yeah, got that good vagina. Yeah. 
Um, no, but uh, here's the thing: is like I was I was holding it so, like so aggressively, I was holding it back. I was like praying in my brain that she could come because I was like, th- if this is in a minute, it was it was probably five. Oh, that's not bad at all. I'm talking one for time. For me, it was bad. For me, okay. it's that's bad. Okay. I'm not trying to be like whatever. You're like, I only got one triple double in the first <laughs> quarter. I don't. Five minutes is fine. Remember when we no, did it's the... not. Yes, it is. Remember when we did the interview with Kendra Sunderland? Right. And she was like, average sex for me is like seven minutes. Okay, I'll tell you this. Lies. No. <laughs> five minutes is phenomenal. I'm telling, have you ever... Phenomenal? For for what It's I, for, not phenomenal. For her, it ain't for me. <laughs> Papa Giorgio's in the kitchen making it rain threes, baby. I'm saying, when you said, oh, you put it in and immediately finished, I had once one time where I literally felt like I just put my dick in and hit like the parachute eject button. It went in and came. Really? Was Dude, this, was the, this like the, recently? No, no, no. Oh well, yeah, of course. When I was a kid, I'm coming to my pants, no problem. When I'm no, no, I'm, I'm saying, um, I mean, I probably had when that was like two-ish years and some change. Yeah, I haven't done it. I haven't done one of those like quick bops in 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 a, in a while. But that's what I thought you were saying. No, I wish I was. Five minutes. But like, five, because he, that's because I was so. But I, <laughs> but I was doing everything I could not to like yeah, not to come. Yeah. Because usually I'm like, oh, I have like maybe like five to ten where I can like do whatever I want and I'm all over the place. And then then it comes to a point where like, oh, I'm going to come so I need to like start switching things up. Yeah. But What's I was, your average duration? If I just straight plowed. I mean, what's your average duration? I'm talking. What's the mean? What is, I, how does mean mean average? Mean? I don't know. I don't. I hate it. Mean. Yeah. What's the mean of these four numbers? What's a debit? Credit. Average mean. I would say I would say I'm about I would say I'm about 15 minutes. Really? On the <laughs> pretty long. Yeah. It's, come on. It's also the average. They've done studies on this. The average is 5.4 minutes. That's what I'm saying. What What are you out here trying to do? Win a Grammy or some shit? What are you, <laughs> buddy? Trying to win the Guinness Book of World Records? Trying to win an Emmy? Speaking. I, of, go ahead. I literally thought it was like a. Ah. Uh, no. I wish it was. But Wait. those are the ones you can't recover. A five minute one, you're fine. It's Monday morning. People got shit to do. Slack fucking notifications popping off in the background. Oh yeah, yeah. Your girl does Slack. My girl does Slack. I used to do it at my old job. Uh, all Dev Digital, dude. Why is Slack? What what what's know. wrong with iMessage? Why does it have to be Slack? Do we know? One massive iMessage. <laughs> That'd be so annoying. God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, get your dick out unless you're in public. Don't do that. Nope. Actually, keep, keep it in your pants. Let's just say that. But you know what you can keep in your mouth is a Blue Chew. Blue Chew. Ladies and gentlemen, what is Blue Chew? Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in a chewable tablet at a fraction of the cost for your cock. The process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive their prescription within days. Who doesn't want their dick hard? Gabe? Gabe? No, yeah, I like it soft. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Get off the podcast. Besides Blue Chew, we're looking for a new podcast producer, Psych. We love Gabe. Anyways, Blue Chew tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped directly to your door in a discreet package. None of this going to the doctor and be like, hey, my dick doesn't work. And he goes, mine doesn't either. Why do you think I'm a doctor? And then you stab himself with a syringe. You don't need to do that anymore. You Nothing. don't need to go to a CVS and be like, cock, how does it work? You literally they show up to your door, discreet, cool, modern package, and you can take them day or night so you can plan ahead according to when you might have these sexual activities. But hold on, Trevor. Yeah. I don't have problems getting my dick hard. Oh, but do you have problems on the second run? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you do. What's if, your return time? What is it? I don't know. With Blue Chew, you don't really need a return time because it, it stays rock hard. Yeah, you nut, but you still keep going. Your dick's like, I'm ready for this. Your that dick, was a warm-up lap. Let's go. All I'm right. an Olympic athlete. Indy 500. So, look, we got a special deal for our listeners. You can try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code SOCKS at the checkout. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping. That's bluechew.com. Promo code SOCKS to receive Socks. your first month. First month. A month of fucking free. free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we'd like to thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast and our cocks. Hard. God damn. Anyways, um, <clears throat> when was the last time you had one when you uh, just immediate eject? Eject, eject, I actually, eject? I actually, yeah, jacked. 
I don't know. I e Jack. I actually remember. It was in. It was in New York. It was a girl that I used to mess around with. That she lived. I remember her. She lived in Chinatown, not the doctor, but she lived in Chinatown. What's her address? And uh, eighteen oh six. And her gate Chinatown code. Chinatown Avenue. And her gate code. Four eight one eight. Okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, that's my sister's apartment. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, but but it was one of those things where like we had a little bit of build. We had a little bit of build up. She actually dressed up for me. Cause I was like, oh, it's so hot. School girl, so hot. She dressed up like a school girl, so it was like this whole fucking elaborate thing. Yeah, yeah. And then I, she did, and then she turned, started with doggy style. That was crazy. Oh, I never, yeah. Start with doggy style is insane. That's a lot. Yeah. So she start turned in the skirt. Oh, I'm sorry. Did Daddy do something wrong? <laughs> so she went out and bought a costume just for you to one pump trumpet in doggy. That's what's so funny about it. Wow. Is I put it in. Oh, you guys know this technique I have. I put it in and had it come immediately, took it out, and then I scooped down to eat her out and came all over the duvet. Yeah. So she had to know. Yeah. But it was just so funny because she went out to the costume store. She's like, oh, I'm getting fucked tonight. <laughs> and then just one pump. Yeah, she and definitely could have returned it. Oh, yeah. And they're like, oh, you didn't even wear it. She's like, you're telling me. <laughs> yeah. She goes, you oh. got the receipt and everything. Yep. Um. Anyways. That was the last time. Do you remember the cool. last time you did? I was like two, two and a half. Years ago, probably. Walk me through that. How was that? I literally just, I, I think there was a lot of foreplay and I was kind of nervous because this girl was just yeah. like, this girl was just like really hot and I got in my own head. Mm. And that's literally what it was. And I was so in my own head that I like couldn't, I couldn't get it up for a second. And then I did. And then I finally, there was a lot of mental games going on. And then I yeah. kind of just beep, ding dong. And then, yeah. Holy crap. So this is, this is atrocious from front to front to back. Terrible. Couldn't get it up. Once you got it up, yeah, no. Well, because I had been drinking a little bit, so in my yeah, head, yeah, yeah. I, in my head, I was like, "Okay, is this alcohol making my penis not want to clock in? Uh, clock in?" Uh, but but time. but then I was like, "What what's going on here?" And then I then you know I get some chubbed up, and then I'm just kind of nervous, and then I just like because she was she was just out. I just think she was just out of my league. She was just hot, and I was just kind of just like. Ugh. Yeah. Also, with the my first high school girlfriend, that was immediate. Daytime came in like four seconds and went to my shift at fucking yogurt land. <laughs> yeah, it was the middle of the day. Her parents were out of town. It was the first time we ever had sex. And boy, was it quick. Dude, I had a girl. I had a girl. <laughs> it was. Give me head in a, like at a party, but we were in uh, my buddy's Maxima. No, a, a Honda Accord V6. Okay. She was giving me head and I came so like dog Up so head? oh mm. i i'm i shit you not it was probably seven seconds like i'm talking about wow wah, wah. no less actually wah, 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 dude wah. there was this girl in my uh, college that people used to call the dome doctor what? <laughs> <laughs> very nice lady um I, but like she domed up a few of the fellow fraternity brotherins all right and uh yes yeah, somebody called her somebody coined her the dome doctor because it was it was immaculate was she phenomenal i didn't i didn't i would have went to, to her class i would have loved to see what she was doing yeah rcp yes dome doctor where'd she get her phd at sex dot org <laughs> um, dot org makes anything hilarious if it was pornhub dot org it would be such a different website yeah what about dot gov <laughs> Damn. Holy That's crap. That's a trap for sure. Yeah. You click on one video and it's just a mirror looking back at yourself, like freeze. You're like, oh no. <laughs> oh shit. My bank account. Um, anyways. <clears throat> oh, this oh sorry, I want to say this we'll finish the story. So she literally gave me a head. I came and not shit you not six uh seven seconds. At the most seven seconds. Mm -hmm. And then it was so fast that she just looked at me mm -hmm. and then she goes, Do you want me to do it again? And she started, and I was like, I mean, Encore, maybe Encore. I was 16. When you're 16, you just stay hard. Like, you just stay hard. Even if you come, you're just hard. Right. And so she's like, give me head again. Wow. And then I'm she so She ran stupid. it back? Ran it back. Damn. She checked the ball up and everything. She, but I, I'm so stupid and egotistical that she started giving me head. And the second time, you're not coming fast. So the second time, I'm like, yeah. Fucking, like, enjoying it as if I, like, just didn't come in 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah. Nightmare. And then my buddy came, knocked on the door, and he's like, hey, it's sleepover. You want to come to my house? I'm like, well, I'm a little busy. Or well, you're in his car. So, you know, maybe. Yeah, maybe oh, sure. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, anyways, different dimension. Guys. What? Palm Springs. Oh, what are we even talking about coming fast for? Coming I want to hear about the Honda this so Accord? Fast. 
Yeah, V6. Come on, man. V6. There you go. Uh, yeah, the other weekend went down to Palm Springs with some some friends. Yep. And uh, you know, I we missed Fourth of July, so this was kind of my my Fourth of July. Got We're it. like, oh, let's just go lay at a pool or whatever. And then I was doing a show in town, and the night before I left, and somehow I had met this guy because he worked for a production company and we met early, early on and I was like, Oh, what's up? And he goes, Oh, and this is my girl over here. And, uh, she, uh, she's doing great things. And since he was in entertainment, I thought she was like an actress or something. I was like, Oh, what are you like? What are you working on? She goes, Oh, I, I sell shrooms. It's like, I don't think I've heard of that movie. Is that coming out to Hulu? I'm in, but yeah. So she just showed, she sold like, like chocolate bar, microdose mushrooms. And I was like, well, I'm going to Palm Springs this weekend. And she goes, okay, why? And I was like, I have no idea. And then we kind of just both looked at each other for a second. I was like, do you sell the, the, the mushrooms? Buy, buy the mushrooms. And I'll, I'll tell you what, uh, very impulse buy, but everybody I've ever talked to about psychedelics, mainly mushrooms or any of that regard, they're always like, you need to be in a good mind state for it. You need to be like, I want to do this. I'm happy. This is going to be fun. Were, a couple questions here. One, the chocolates were microdose chocolates. Well, there's, there's, I don't know yeah, anything. There's about like this. ground up shrooms in it or something. It's a big the, the microdosing community. I guess is like massive in Los Angeles, and it was like it was it literally looked like a normal chocolate bar. I was like, did I just get punked by some lady named Abigail? Like is this. Did, so, but what's the what's the instructions here? You're supposed to eat like little bites. Yeah, like, yeah, like an okay, edible, that's, like okay. like a weed edible. Oh, I don't know anything about edibles either. I know nothing about it. This you put them in your world. ass. Cool. Then I'm in. Please don't. Uh, okay. No. So it's like a chocolate bar and there's eight squares. And, you know, yes. I'm, I'm I'm telling her like, okay, I've never done this before. Yep. Like, what do I do? And she goes, take half a square. But she's like a pro. So I go, okay, we're going to trim it down a little bit. Quarter. I'm going to take half of a half, right? Yes. Which is also known uh, in uh, the metro system as a quarter. Got it. Quarter. So uh, I brought it. And when we're with the group, we're just like, hey, um, I have these. I don't know. Is anybody down? Everyone's like, yeah, we're all down. And then so we kind of just uh, on Saturday, just we're sitting by the pool. And we all had a, had a, you know, we all split it up and uh, we're sitting there. And then, uh, you know, it didn't really feel much. Yeah. Take a little. Oh. More. Awful plan. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. But then uh, it was because we all were on the same time schedule. We all started with it. Didn't really feel anything. Took a little more. And then it was it was like an hour and a half or an hour 45, we're all just sitting in the pool. And then for some reason, like it, everybody was all in sync at once. Uh, like I said something and then yeah. everybody was like, Bruh. and then we were all like on the same page. It was really cool. We were all like on a roller coaster ride together. We were literally just sitting in the pool and be like, oh, look at that. And someone was like, oh, look at this. Do you guys feel that? Wait, look at this. And uh, when I took shrooms, I got like in an well, incredible think, childlike stage. I also, I also like took a whole fucking dose. Yeah, so microdosing yeah. isn't, is not nearly as crazy as what you did you yeah, just yeah. ate the shit right yeah, yeah and yeah. how much did you take do you know i think 3.5 uh grams altogether because i did oh, like you were split like you and you and him did no it, each oh yeah that that's like an amount that'll get you fucking like yeah because we had bazunga. half half a lemonade and then uh and then we ate like yeah so half. my guess is like the lemonade would be like the same effect that from these like chocolate bars okay, like, a okay. micro, like you can still function like later in that night we all went and got dinner like we were still fine oh yeah no. you know well, i was fucking zonked out of my no. brain so cells. so when i say i did mushrooms i don't i don't think it's like a like fucking like i was like seeing like legos fighting in the air but it was it was more so we were all just kind of like your visions kind of enhanced and you f felt great there was like a a level of like energy that came with it like a lot of a lot of laughter like a euphoric yeah kind of yeah yeah okay yeah like colors really popped i think for that and ah, especially i was sitting in the pool right. and the pool water you know how like the on the water it's like those like white lines that all kind of like yeah it, that the pool looked awesome and it was it was great being in a pool because you're not standing you're not sitting i was just kind of like resting on a floaty yeah and my body was in like the weirdest like i looked like i had kind of got hit by a car but was okay with it <laughs> like you? i was like my body was like twisted and then one leg was behind me one leg was in front of me and i was just like like you know how they have the the guys that you dangle on the string like marionettes the, is that what that is yeah i puppeteer, felt like marionette. i felt like a puppeteer like that but like my body was like the guy was like on his lunch break yeah so so i was just like chilling body just so relaxed so i had these like 
these like kind of like childlike kind of feelings? Did you have that at all, mm. or was it just like sharp colors and you just sharp felt colors great? and laughter and just the la- dude shroom laughter? I've almost never laughed that much in my entire life. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, like yeah. like dying laugh. Mm-hmm. Like it was it, yeah, it was. It was phenomenal. contagious too. It would just like keep going. Like that. Like you you didn't stop laughing. Like it was really interesting. But um, honestly, I uh, so the microdose part of it. Is it like a continue like, oh, you set an Alexa, hey, uh, one hour, remind me to take another half a square? I think you can, but I also think it's one of those things where it's like, I don't know if you've ever just smoked a lot of weed. There's a certain point where you're like, I can't get any more stoned. This is like the maximum. Okay. I think with, I think once you already hit your, like, had you taken a full chunk, a full square, yep. you'd be fucking on one, right? But I think after you've already felt little effects, I don't know if that other piece was the part that put us may feel good or maybe we just were late like i think once you already start feeling shit right you can't take more to enhance that may i don't know i don't know i don't know shit about drugs okay 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 um yeah so did any did anyone was was everyone very comfortable with everybody with everybody was super on board nobody That's was like yep yeah. because what it was is like with micro dosing micro dosing it wasn't like i'm tripping out there's spiders crawling in my eyelids it was very like if the landlord came to the house we all would have been like oh yeah we're just chilling the one thing that was funny is Ooh, no yeah i mean i don't know like it was somewhat normal but i had to uh call somebody because they were watching the cat for that day yeah and um i was trying to explain something i was like and i was like on the phone and i was like trying to explain the process of like feeding the cat oh, and it took me so long to get the sentence out and then i was like hey i'm just i'm kind of on mushrooms right now you said that yeah yeah, yeah. oh that's dope but, but the guy's a great guy so and he was like, oh yeah, yeah, no, I that that fully checked out. I was <laughs> I was very sure you were some. I know. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then he started like fucking with me and be like, are you? What dimension are you on? And I was like, no, 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 no. Don't do that to yeah, me, dude. But, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> don't do dude, that. There's to this me. kid in my high school who used to do shit like that, like to the people who are like stoned. He would, this was so annoying. He like walk up to them, like wave his hand, his face, be like, are you tripping balls? I don't know where that kid's at now. I, who knows? I, very annoying. I used to do it to my buddy because I didn't really? know. Yeah, because you I didn't know what guy? mushrooms. In the Celica? I, yeah. Celica tongue ring, two ears pierced with the yeah. frosted tips and mm-hmm. fucking pookie shells. What do you think I was? Do you think I was a nice person? <laughs> uh, alone. That's, I think. <laughs> no. Uh, but I used to do that to my buddy. He would like come out of his room. He, my buddy would take mushrooms by himself. Yeah. Hey, get a better life. I mean, I mean by maybe, himself? maybe that's the answer though. Buddy, I've, I, I, I've never microdosed. So I don't know what you felt. I just, I've done mushrooms one time. And to do the, to experience that alone... I just it, it, it to me it's a very communal feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alone might be a little interesting, but who knows? Maybe you're just on a journey alone. You don't you don't have to worry about. Actually, I don't know if I'd like that. I, I would like I, someone I would, with me. Yeah, to, come for because it. Because to me, it's like it's sort of what you said, right? You're like, hey, do, are you guys seeing this? And people go, yeah, yeah you are. And it's like a, it's a shared. Yeah, experience. you don't want to take shrooms and look over at your cat, and he's like, man, what are you looking at? You're like nothing. Wait, hold the fuck! How did you talk to me, sir? Um, dude, but the, I remember when I was on mushrooms, I hated the idea of having to deal with real life. So like the idea mm-hmm. of like having to call my cat sitter to explain how to do it. It was like kind of like funny though, but like, oh, okay. but I don't, I don't think I took nearly as enough. I know I didn't take nearly enough as what you did. Cause that's like fully tripping. Like you're just accepting whatever comes your way. This was all like, Hey, we've never done this before. Uh, any of us, let's just dabble with it. Yeah. Uh, because we still want to be able to function later, you know, but yeah. um, it was like the perfect level of and what I've I felt like we all felt something and we all kind of like it, it kind of slowed down after like an hour ish or something. Did you have like extra empathy towards everyone? Do you, were you guys like having like com- those conversations? It was kind of like, hey, man, I just like love you, man. And not like mm. not so like those high, like, thank you, but like like true. There's like true like exuding love. I like, see I, how we could go down that route. It was more so just like um, I don't even know what it was like. It was like a. Just more of just happy. Yeah, happy. Happy, and then, like, we were all making certain uh, observations. Like, somebody took a popsicle stick. Oh, also, yeah, we ate popsicles while in the middle of it. It's one of the most amazing tastes ever. Yes. I don't even know. the. I wish I could shout out this popsicle brand, but God damn it, it was good. It had, like, it was, like, made out of, like, real strawberries. So Whoa. We're all laying in the pool eating them, and wow. Oh, those are ones you can sort of see the strawberries in it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my what goodness What are those bitches gracious. called? Oh, they deserve no. a shout out. Sponsor the podcast. But it was... Um, well, let me ask you this. Do you think it was, like, that tasty because you were on shrooms? 
I think both. I th- oh, I think it was a lot of combination. It was 117 degrees out in Palm Springs. Oh, it my was, God. We were in a pool, and we had, we had all taken the, the chocolate. So it was like, I think it was just a combination of, like, this feels so great. And it was, um, well, I'm glad and it was a really bright red color, too. Dude, I'm glad you had a good experience on it because in my head, taking shrooms and being in, like, a hot setting is a oh, nightmare. No, 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 no. It was great. Yeah, no, it, it was perfect. And I think it, um, you know, that, I don't know, I... The next day, I was like, we should do them again. And then everyone's like, well, we had a great experience yesterday. Like, do we want to risk? Do you want to bite off more than you can chew? Or do you want to leave it on that note? But yeah. Well, the story is uh, Patreon. Should we just do the rest on the Patreon? Do you want to do, do, do you an episode on microdosing? microdosing? I'm, I'm in. I wonder what it would be like. Because for, for us, it was like, I think I think if we did it on the show, it'd be the, we'd find a lot of commonalities where we'd be like, Yo, look at how weird the ground looks. And then you're licking the ground. And I'm like, is is this normal? And you go, yeah, I'm not even, I didn't even take anything. <laughs> I, but I think like certain things that we were laughing about, like there was like a leaf floating in the water. And we're like, yeah. that that's like a boat, like it's a raft. And then there was like an yeah. ant on it. And we're like, dude, think about that mission that guy's on. So like we were all just like seeing the same. So that is, that, I think that's what I was getting at. Like that, that's a, to me, that's a very like childlike um, observation. Yeah. I think I think what we do for a living, uh, like we kind of we sort of observe things in a childlike state, anyways. Mm-hmm. More, I think, more than like a, a, a like a normal quote unquote normal adult. Um, but the the mushrooms kind of just put me over the edge. So I was in like childland, and I've already said this on the show before. But like that's when I like looked at that stick, and I was like, "Yo, a stick ain't nothing but a homeless tree." Yeah, and like that is like a very child, yeah, yeah, like a yeah, very childlike experience. Well, dude, that's where I had that thought uh, that I've been working on this stand a bit of just of, like, I you know I had interesting. I didn't really have too many crazy thoughts while on the shroomity doomity booms, but uh, I one thought I had was like, at what age is too old to uh, suck on a mom's bosom? Like, at what age does a mom get weirded out that she's like, there's a full grown child question mark sucking on my tit hopefully never hopefully she's fine with that all the time well it my sounds hot, like <laughs> but um i don't i don't yeah. I, I don't know why my brain went to that but no i mean i, I thought i was gonna have crazy shit but that's know? a but that's a real i i, I like that i but like that i don't I know like if that, that was question. from enhancement of mushrooms or just just genuinely my dumb brain i think i wrote stuff down i don't know if i wrote any other stuff down but like is there an age? Because I don't. The, I don't think. And Gabe, please look this up. I don't think the the breasts stop producing milk unless you like stop giving milk. So like, if you have a kid who's eleven years old that's still sucking the tit, I think you just keep giving like your the 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 glands keep producing milk. Uh, yeah. So well, you can just I, have I, an eleven year old giving milk. I think it's like when the baby starts teething. You're like, all right, stop biting. Oh, that that that's why with like a lot of women's breasts after they have a, a kid looks like green beans, because because <laughs> why? Yeah, because they elongate because the kid eats them shits. God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let me ask you a question. Does everyone want to sell things online? Yes. Do you want to make those racks? Yes. We did a whole merch shop and we used ShipStation. It was incredible. Uh, ShipStation, what is it? I'll tell you, okay? ShipStation is the number one choice for online sellers, okay? You can import orders from any sales channel, ship with any carrier using ShipStation's deeply discounted rates. How deep? Super deep and automated just about any shipping task. It sounds good. It's no wonder 100,000 plus online sellers choose ShipStation. And let me tell you what. What? What? No matter how you sell Shopify, Etsy, the back of your Yaris, probably not that one, your own website, ShipStation funnels all of your orders into one simple interface that you can manage from anywhere, even your cell phone. On your phone? Phone. Holy crap. You'll even get access to amazing discounts with major carriers, including UPS, FedEx, and USPS. Easily compared carriers and choose the best solutions every time. With ShipStation, small businesses can now access the same rates usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies without the contracts or commitments. So let me just say this. What? Ship more in less time for a lot less money. Yes. Just use offer code SOCK to get a 60-day free trial. That's two months, 60 days free. Wow. No hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com 
dot com. Click on the microphone, top right hand page. If you don't know which one on the right is, look at Click your right hand. It. Go up. Right hand, go up there and type in socks. That's shipstation.com. Offer code socks. Make ship happen. God damn. You know, the only other thought I had was the last time I cried <laughs> that wasn't because of like any like emotional like relationships in my life okay. was watching somebody get the golden buzzer on AGT. Oh yeah. That's a very oh, emotional oh moment. God. Dude. Uh, Tears. <laughs> however they edit that shit is it's the music, it's the storyline. Yeah. It's Howie Mandel. I did a show and Howie Mandel was on it over the weekend. Oh really? Yeah. He popped in at West Side. Is he, isn't he like a crazy germ? Very big germ. Like he doesn't go into the green room. He doesn't shake hands. And somebody was saying that like he, he was friends with me saying that at his house, like let's say I go to his house and I like put a cup there and then I take it away. He has people that are like watch what you do and then they go in and clean it really. No. Yeah. He's like a very big germ. That's got to be like debilitating, bro. How do like, you fuck like that? Especially after COVID. Like, oh, this, was, this, was, after, this has been during, his whole life though. Yeah. So you can only imagine COVID. I mean, it just... Didn't he get really, uh, or maybe this was a hoax and it was to get views, but what, didn't he get like really bad plastic surgery? I saw that, I think on his TikTok, but. That's I, probably for views or something. Yeah, maybe it was just like, for views. Wait, uh, you mean, wasn't that Zac Efron? Well, Zac Efron for sure. Oh, that's for real? But I think that's for sure. But I think Howard Mandel got really. But I'll tell you what, man. Howard Mandel, I've never seen a stand-up. That boy ripped. Dude, he's he there, crushed. There's so many. Like he was a massive stand up. Yeah, dude, bro. I have one of his shirts from back then. He was like, has Do long you? hair. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he. Um, I've actually never watched like a, a full special when he was like younger, had the hair. But he, I mean, he had HBO hour. Like he would yeah. rip. But it's, but it's like you watch him on AGT, and and he obviously has to hold back his genuine thoughts on a lot of stuff, right? Or but, but whenever he watches another stand up, he's never like, you know, man, back in my day when yeah. I did stand, he's he just like. He laughs, but he, he laughs. But he also like, per, like if you watch the show, you wouldn't even know he does stand up. He doesn't talk right. about it and be like, you know what I love about. I, I mean, who knows? I I've seen that. three episodes of AGT, and I, I, I don't know. Maybe he does, but um, yeah, that golden buzzer shit. Jesus Christ! How do you follow a golden buzzer act? I mean, you can't. <laughs> I mean, you realistically, can't. if you if you get a golden buzzer, if somebody if you get a golden buzzer in front of me, I'm not going on. I think if the person in front of me gets a golden buzzer, you take like the two minute. Uh, time frame when they're like resetting the stage you go get in a car accident and you get a violin and you don't have a leg and you go today I'm gonna play for you uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean soundtrack without a leg so I was just in a car accident and I don't have violin so I'm gonna use the leg that was decapitated <laughs> yeah and, you and just use the fucking my parakeet leg. flew away this morning and they're like hold that golden buzzer again <laughs> I mean that's the only way you get it you can't be like yo I'm racked out I'm rich here we go and sing really well don't care. No. Get off the show. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, dude, everybody who I've seen get a golden buzzer, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, they're either, they have to be four years old with leukemia or they have to be 106 years old with leukemia. <laughs> Those are the only two options. Well, it's always like, um, it's never based on the talent. I mean, it is It is the talent. It's yes. more so the storyline because if they had no story behind that and they had that talent, they would still get like passed and like, you're great. You're going to Hollywood. I don't know. What is American Idol? You're going to Hollywood. I don't know. You're like, I don't want to go. Remember Susan Boyle? No. Okay. Susan, you remember Susan Boyle? What is Susan Boyle? Susan Boyle was a woman that was on the older side. Um, she wasn't like conventionally attractive. And oh, she could sing her she before. could sing her breasts off. Like it was crazy, right? But the thing that was upsetting was like she was really talented, but the they were all just like Oh, you're old and ugly, and you can sing? Wow, golden buzzer. It's like, can we just focus on how, f dude, she was incredible. Well, isn't, isn't that the point of X Factor, the mm. one where they turn their backs to the, to the... That's the voice. The voice? Yeah. What's X Factor? X Factor? X oh, there's Factor, too many of these. Well, X Factor and like ADT are sort of like the same exact thing. <laughs> the one where they, where they turn their backs to you, it's kind of hilarious. Well, the old Because I know it's so they don't judge you, because yeah, yeah. they just want to hear talent. But like, it's such a funny thing to be a judge. You're just like staring at the audience and you're like listening and they're just watching your thought process. And then they just turn around. You know what if the they all turn around one day and they're all naked? <laughs> you know what's the worst ever? Is when you're doing your thing and then they just know it. There's three people that just didn't turn around. You're so like, oh, 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 they only oh turn, I'm the worst. They only turn around if they if they if want they like you. you. Yeah. I saw somebody was saying this. Uh, I don't know if this is real. You know how people, you just hear people say something, of course, all the time, and then you just run with it. Somebody said Bill Cosby might be doing a a, a comedy tour. He is. 
Is he really? Yeah. Bill Cosby hitting the yeah. road? Yeah. Wild. Who's booking him? I don't know who's going to buy tickets. Like, who? Well, who, I, I, who? I think people are going to want to just see what the fuck the man has to say. They don't want to necessarily support him. They're just being like, okay, this man's last 10 years has been kind of insane. What what is like what is he gonna say? Him? Like I'm just I'm oh, just yeah. trying to figure out who's like who's still like a fan and who's like oh I want to buy a ticket as a fan. I mean even at that age I wouldn't want to see anybody. But, I mean his past terrible, but even some of the greats you're like you're you're 83 I don't. Right. What are we What are we gonna do? I don't. What are you even? Gonna what time's the show at? 2 p.m. Also, what are you gonna talk about? The dentist's office? <laughs> Everyone's like, hold on, hey, real quick. Maybe let's touch on what the fuck's going on the last three years of your life, sir. Right. Like, what? It's either he has to address that, or like, what are you gonna but, say? But, but mac and cheese is odd. But the way his tone is, is like scab it about boom ba. Right. Know? So even if he does address it, it's still gonna sound like he's not serious. This is good to be And you're like, oh, this is not good. Yeah, I I don't know, but yeah, but yeah, he's uh he's uh, that's what I read some article that he's gonna go back on tour. He's trying, yeah. So far, the only thing uh, TMZ is reporting, they I guess he uh, reached out to the Comedy Cellar about doing something, and they turned him down. Oh, I heard that he went there, and they 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 like were like, no, get out of here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no way How a comedy he? club is gonna put them up. He's gonna have to. Well, dude, I don't. I, it's he's gonna have to How do a tour just... at his house because think about it, like he's not gonna be able to get a theater because then the theater is going to have to vouch for, like they're not going to do yeah. it. Yeah. Well, I'm just more so curious like how is he just like not like like he's got to be on some Takashi level with security rolling around town. You're telling yeah. me Bill Cosby just hopped out of the car and was like, "You know what? I can I can I do a set?" Yeah. <laughs> also. <laughs> also. I just How do you want to do stand up? That's what I'm trying to figure out. How do you get out and then be like, "Oh, you know what? The world wants to see me be funny." Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. I, I, just, I don't know. There's, there's, there's just all time. Like, that's just like a headline that would only fit in 2021 where you go. Yeah. What else? Yeah. It doesn't even, it doesn't even look weird. Did you see the footage? And I think this is someone just uh, made like fake footage but when he was walking out of, out of the, the court. He like did like a, Oh, the look back. Yeah, I think we talked real? about it. Yeah, it's real. But the, the it's people, not real, people made dude. like memes out of it and they put music behind it. And it's, it's, um, but hold on. It's the internet doing what the internet does best. So it's not a hoax or not whatever uh, uh, fabrication? Before his hearing, yeah. They did it before his hearing. Like he was walking and he did like a... I don't know But that's that real. For. Yeah. What do you mean? You thought it was a green screen? I thought someone just did something like to manipulate well, the no, footage. Well, nobody knows what he was doing. There's people saying like somebody yelled something. Um, they were saying people like yelled something and he went to like look or he like... I don't... Oh. I don't know what it was. But. Oh, I thought... it Because it looked like he was like, whoop, dodged it. Like, I mean, that's what uh, the whole internet thought. I, I don't. The, I've never seen a body move like that. And he's a uh, hundred and six. Yeah, right. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't um, know, man. This is what I wanted to bring up real quick. Please do. Olympics. Where are you at? They're coming up. Can I join them? Probably yes. not. If you were a bobsled. There we go. That's you knew I mean, exactly what I was doing. Because say. a lot of the work. What would I do if I was in the Olympics? Is yep. bobsledding because that's a lot of it is like. You're 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 the. Most important thing is the the lay the like you know how you're bobbing and swerving right yeah the heart y- y- it's not about how fast you run I can no, kind but, of but they you have to you have to run you have to run along the oh, thing oh forgot about like, that I would yeah. start in it though right you can't do that that's, that's <laughs> well, not how it works you know <laughs> okay if okay. Bill Cosby can go on tour I can sit in the front of a fucking Facts. bobsled also what are you doing <clears throat> what would I like to do or what do you think I could do. That's the difference. Because if I, what I want to do, I want to play basketball. Oh well, let's be real here. Oh, exactly. <laughs> uh, what I would, what I think I could do, archery. You give me six months, <laughs> I I'm see that. fucking killing it. Yeah. Because I would want to be. Oh, do they even have archery in the Summer Olympics? They might. I just don't think they tell. Is there it. fucking in the Olympics? Because that's what I would do. Fucking? Minus the situation I just told well, you guys 18 minutes starting ago. Starting on, yeah, what we talked about today, I don't yeah, know. Maybe I'm out. Coming in at 5'9". 5'9". 5'9". Coming in at 5'9". He's coming in five. Five minutes. Five minutes is all I got. Speaking of coming, Olympics, uh, do you know Do you know about the Olympic Valley? What is it called? Uh, uh, game? Athlete Village? Thank you. Athlete, Athlete Village. Athlete Village. Uh-huh. That's like notorious for just fucking. Just because you have... The the highest caliber athletes in the world. Oh wow! Testosterone on a thousand. So women caked up. You're talking about a, a woman just cakes everywhere. Dudes, women, boobs, huge dongs. I mean, we're talking about athletes. Yeah. 
and they all stay in the same place. You wow. don't think there's fucking? That's how. That's how like future athletes are. I was just gonna born, say what right? athletes of today were be from that. Kevin Durant, LeBron yeah. James, Jason Kidd, Sean Kemp, Jason Derulo. Yeah, Jason Derulo, athlete. He's got to have a hog, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy, his hog's got to start a TikTok. <laughs> it already does. He's what? got one point three mil. <laughs> So, I was so, bring, so athlete. Yeah, I was bringing village. athlete village because obviously uh, COVID is going on. So they don't want to spread COVID in the athlete's village. So they made beds for anti-sex beds. Wow. Yeah. They're I mean, people of, are going to take a page out of my book and fucking public. That's where I was going. Dude, you know what the beds are made out of? A bobsled. Okay. You knew. No, they're made out of cardboard. Wait, really? Is there a yes. photo of them? What are you, you're lying. No, no. They're, these are athletes. They're made out of the, cardboard. The, the best of the best. Yes. They're made out of cardboard, so you can't have two people in the bed. What you have you two people that'll break. I don't know. They make like a weight limit of the cardboard bed. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That's car Wait, that's actually cardboard? Look at it, dude. It's cardboard. It's actual cardboard. That that was their COVID prevention. That's so that you can't have two people. This looks like an Ikea set when you're walking through the store. Yeah, this looks like trash. Well, the, the thing to the right definitely looks like an Ikea thing. Um, you see how it's locked? I love that's how they, they still give it a headboard. Like, the decency of that. That's hilarious. Yeah, you don't you don't need that at all. <laughs> no. But, like, but, yeah. Also, I mean, fuck standing up. That's what's gonna... Dude, <laughs> you're, you're talking about athletes. Well, you do you think the people that play in this have sex? They're like, ah, cardboard, huh? Yeah. That'll get them, Ronald. No. <laughs> no, they're athletes, dude. You you get a, you can fuck on a pommel horse. It doesn't matter. Uh, who? A pommel horse. You don't know what a pommel horse is? I do now. No, you don't? Pump? Pommel horse? Can you bring it up, Gabe, so we can see? Yeah, pommel horse is like a... It look, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a... It looks like a big, like, rectangle, and it's on the things, and then and then it's like a... It's for gymnasts, and oh, I go, Oh, this thing. Whoop, yeah, whoop. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't... I gave it the worst description ever, but gave it... There we go. There's oh, it. Oh, wow. That's it. They can fuck on that thing. Look how jacked that guy is. Look at that. Damn. I would do that over vagina and just slam on it. Floop. That's what I do. And over, 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 and the right in the middle. Floop. Wow. Come so that was their way for COVID or they just don't want them to bang? I think it's it's the same thing. I think for, because of COVID. Dude, they don't, cardboard. Imagine if you pee your bed. It's done. It just you're, collapse you just wake up on the ground. In your own pee. Yeah. Homeless people come by. Hey, right, so, that's for my sign. <laughs> so this is crazy because uh, there's... Olympic athletes have so much sex at this stuff. There's been like STD breakouts during previous Olympic games Whoa. where like it fucked yeah. up some of the games. They in <laughs> at, in 2016 Whoa. at the Rio Olympics, they gave out 450,000 condoms to uh, Olympic athletes, which the math goes down to about uh, enough enough condoms for every athlete to have sex about 42 times at the 2016 Rio Olympics. I mean, that's insane. What, like, imagine going back to where you're from, like, you know, you're representing Sacramento, you're holding down the U.S., and like, what'd you get? Gold, bronze, silver? He's like, chlamydia. And they're like, <laughs> that's a gold in the Sacramento book. I'll tell you what. I mean, 42 condoms? How many days are they there? Two weeks? Or it's a while, right? I don't I, know how long the I don't go. know how long the game Imagine goes. if you didn't have sex once. You'd have just so many condoms. I would pretend. Yo, I jerk off. How was it? Oh, oh man, it. oh, I need another other ones. I'd be using them for like Ziploc bags, you know, shit that doesn't need uh, to, just to use condoms. Also, they got to be magnums, right? These are athletes. I think we're forgetting the fact that these are top-notch athletes. They they got everyone's got to be packing. What is vaginas yeah. biggest cocks Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> also, Isn't that the slogan? <laughs> uh, this is a side note, but Trevor, did you know that the British actually have a word for jerking off into condoms? A legend? It's called loser. They call it a posh wank. Posh wank? I like that. Yeah. When like you, Poshmark. What is that? I have no Poshmark? Idea. Poshmark? I don't know. You just made that up. Poshmark. It's, it's a thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> a British wank? Yeah, it's called a posh. I hate when they say posh wank. wank. Po well, there's poshmark.com. Oh, not what I thought it was going to be. They sell Lululemon. I still don't. <laughs> Where's the people drinking off in condoms? <laughs> God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, the last and final ad of this evening, this podcast is sponsored by ba -dum -ba -dum, Better Help. Is there something interfering with your happiness or it's preventing you from achieving your goals? Better Help will assist your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. Dude, you can start communicating in under 48 hours 
hours. And I'll just say this. It's not a crisis line. It's not a self-help uh, line. It's a professional therapy done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available, which you may not be able to find locally in your area. You know, this is this is the World Wide Web. Web? Dude. Guess how wide the world is. Big? Wide. Let me ask you this, too. Oh, I would like to say this. Uh, I do therapy, and uh, I do FaceTime therapy, okay? I didn't think I was going to like it, but I actually love it. And BetterHelp is experts in this because you can find a licensed therapist, and they can give you kind of like a one-to-one. -one. I thought it was going to be bad. I was like, oh, man, I want to do it in the office. I like the kind of the energy in the office. But let me tell you something. It's much better, in my opinion, to do therapy and in, in, you can wear whatever you want. You can be in your living room. Feel your utmost comfortable. Exactly. You don't got to worry about your parking meter going to be expired. Nothing. You're just out here chilling, being like, I just ate some Eggs Benedict, and it's on my shirt, but this is who I really am. And I'd like to Talk find... Talk to me, person of interest. Yes, okay? What you can do today yes. is go to betterhelp.com and use promo code SOCKS. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, and join over the one million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. So special offer for Stiff Socks listeners, that is you guys get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com backslash socks. socks. Better help, better help, better help, H-E-L-P dot com. Better ingredients, better pizza, betterhelp.com. Do it. Backslash socks. Go find happiness, guys. God damn. I don't like when websites be like, Glenn in uh, North Carolina just bought. I don't give a fuck. Who the fuck's Glenn? You made it up. It's a hoax. <laughs> I think they're all fake. You know, you, you can know, just do that. Isn't that crazy? You know what also I don't like is when they go, oh, three left. Shut up. Hotels, There's more than hotels three left. only always have two rooms left. You've never seen, hey, holy shit, a lot of rooms left. It's always two? No. Let me tell you something. Okay. You have 700 rooms in the middle of COVID. Yeah. There's more than two rooms. Yeah. Bring me the cardboard bed. Okay, what's worse? The cardboard bed so you can't fuck or what the i don't know if you saw this the newest bachelorette contestant uh prefers that none of the contestants jerk off none of the lads play with our wankas oh this is absolute trash. yeah here's the actual headline from page six and they're verified on twitter so you know that means a lot it says katie thurston forbids that's what it is forbids forbids is For such a powerful bids. word katie thurston forbids bachelorette contestants from masturbating and i forbid myself from going on the show not that i would ever get on because i am uh, shaped like a rounded carrot but no i would like to uh say that's uh i think the dudes are gonna be high level tense Let me tell you something couple things here sir i'm gonna snap a rose over my leg <laughs> forbid <laughs> just the, the whole fucking bouquet dude forbids forbids who are you to forbid it's what are you a princess forbids me and why what is her take on this oh if you jerk off you're not gonna want me yeah well let me tell you something <laughs> let me tell you something dude uh i'll be fully loaded not wanting you you say the word forbid you princess bitch who is this woman who is it bring her up i read the name like three times i don't care <laughs> So here's the, I just started watching the video on mute here and she says it. I'm like, okay, whatever you want. I'm, oh, in, I'm, I'm, I'm on board now. Just, oh, she's super yeah, bro, you guys I mean, she's watch hosting the, video? the Bachelorette. What? Yeah. There's wait. a clip of it. You want to see it? Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. Forbids. Get out of here. You got no lips. I kind of had this idea I thought would be fun. Pause it. Okay. Pause Where it right now. The Worst the house. voice in the history of the world. I kind of had this idea. Did you have this idea? Did you forbid me? I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Can you imagine lining up and being like, hey, you can't jerk off? Tell me you love jerking off without telling me you love jerking <laughs> off. <laughs> Play it through. Play it. I'm so sorry. All have to agree to withhold their self-care. That's the nicest way to say not possible. jerk off ever. If you know what I mean. No, no I don't. No, no, explain no. it. Explain it. Like, don't do their skin care routine. Deeper than that. Okay. You know, a little friendly handshake with themselves are oh. off limits. Oh. That's what I call it when I jerk off. I handshake my cock and I go, nice to meet you again for the third time today. And give a little look. I punch my dick. Them. You got to punch your dick? very hard for them. I'm going to fill you in on a juicy secret. A lot of juice. It's called Operation Whoa Whoa. Whoa Whoa! Week Operation No No! Week off. Whack off, wank off. Which one of you can hold out? Dude, I literally made a sketch you on did. this, you yeah. fucking idiots. Well, Run me my check. I literally made a sketch on this. Same camera angles and reactions. Yep. Wow, hey, they bachelorette. Stop ripping my shit. That'll, 
Actually, I don't like very this. close. That's interesting. I literally Dude. go to my YouTube and type in the J.O. show or a yeah. reality show about not jerking off. That's literally what it was. Yeah. She's a fan. That's wild. Run him his check. Run is my check. Also, Runneth my checketh. Forbid. I'm going to be honest here real quick. I'll, I'll, I'll just be the bad guy here. Whoa, right. that's Ready a for crazy. This? Ready for this? <laughs> You're not hot enough. You're not hot enough to tell me I can't jerk off. First of all, it's my dick, bitch. I'll do whatever I want. Well, that's the thing. How are they going to catch them jerking off? Oh, oh, I can't jerk off? Oh, that's weird. I can't find your lips, okay? Where are your lips? I don't like this woman. Forbids. Forbids me? I'm going to, honestly, during the rose ceremony, I'll jerk off on the goddamn rose. How about that? I don't even know the bachelorette. Don't even know the premise of the goddamn show. All I know is bachelorette, there's roses. I'll tell you, Give there's 30 dudes who are trying to get one girl. All right. Train. <laughs> Run the Amtrak train, bro. But I'm just saying, like, that's, I the, the amount of, like, you're still obviously going to jerk off. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to check? <laughs> GoPro on the cock. How are you going to check? I just imagine I a you world to check. where the whole season, no dude jerks off. They're, the guys are going to be, they can't even talk straight. Hi, <clears throat> Katie. I come. So nice. Could you pass the. <clears throat> nut, Lotion. nut butter, peanut, almond, nut, come, come nut, nut, nut. The peanut butter, yeah. please, can I just borrow that <laughs> peanut butter to fuck it in the shower stall? I mean, I'm going to think about the dude that wins. Do you, do you know the amount of time that I'm going to spend in the quote unquote taking a shower? Oh, that's not, I'm not showering. I'm going to trip and fall into a flashlight so many times. Oh, sorry. I fucked up. You forbid me. Ew. <laughs> think about the guy that wins. Oh man. His balls are going to be. Heavy. They're going to have their first night at lunch to make so Roger. Tell me what you want it. Finger on his nipple. <laughs> Done. Done. He's going to have to get a new pair of Levi's. They're going to be covered in C-U-M. Uh, yeah, I mean. I don't like this. That's just so interesting. Are the dudes mad to get cut? They're like, oh, you didn't get a rose. He's like, hell yeah, perfect. All right, uh, I'll see you in five. Where Good are you going? Guess. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Madam, I bid you adieu. Like the moment that they go, they walk in, they go, Hey, we can't, uh, you can't touch your woo woo, whatever the hell they said on that stupid ABC. Whatever. <laughs> it was week on, week, whack off. Week off, whack off. Week off, whack we off. I'm quitting. We're <laughs> done here. I don't want to win the bachelorette that bad. Let me ask you this. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Everyone already hates me. It, is, that, <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that the normal level of girl? No, I don't, I don't know. They, oh, we don't know. They, they're on episode like 98. Like they, they just pump oh, or season, oh, season, 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 season. They just pump these things out. But also it's just like, I think at this point people just go on the show to be like, hey, I might have sex. Also, here's great exposure because their audience is just women from all over the world who are also very hot being like, oh, I thought Trevor was going to go all the way. Well, I thought Kevin was going to. And then yeah, yeah. these guys just get followings. And I told you, I saw a guy who was on the show go to the bungalow, yeah. the place we're just at. And women flocked to this man. No. Women were leaving their men they were with to go talk to this man. So who knows? I think, I think I've said it before, but I think getting second place on a show like this, if you're one of these dudes, is one of the best case scenarios. You get all the attention. Yeah. Everyone feels sorry. Like, ah, oh, we thought you were going to win. And he's like, yeah, I didn't. I have $500,000 more, 2 million uh, followers, and an available cock. Can I ask you this? Book it on uh, purespace.com. So if you win, what do you get? The girl. That's your wife. You're together. What? Well, yeah, I think that's, that's a whole the whole premise. Thing? That's a whole premise on the show. They're all fighting for that person's love. And then when it's the bachelor, you're never gonna believe this. What? It's the dude. And oh. then like 30 girls. Oh, so it's just whores. That's it should be it's not whore. No. It they wedding. They want to get married. That's okay, that's the difference. That, well, that's that's uh, the thing I'm Well, missing. it's like you're finding love in front of it. A, a lot of it's a reality TV show. People want to be on a reality TV show. Okay. I know there's three girls from my college who were on like last season or something. Yeah. Do they get followings off this? Some, but right. they got cut early on. Uh, but okay. in their bio, they get to put season three yeah, contestant that. and then they put the rose in their bio and everyone's like, oh. Ew. But okay. if you go to a little bar, you know, you might have another girl be like, hey, were you? And then some right. other guys are like, hey, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> bachelor, that's crazy. I live in a bachelor pad, AKA the basement of my stepfathers. And I jerked off before. Yeah. Yeah. What is so if you were the dude? Yes. You're the bachelor. Uh-huh. Would you make a rule for the women? Um <laughs> no, I'd want them to do it more. I'd have a rule that you have to do it three times a day. <laughs> I, but but that also makes me think how much are these dudes jerking off on a regular season? It must be a lot. 
I mean, a lot of testosterone roaming the house. Well, it, the whole the whole thing, the whole premise is like, a, 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 like it's just filled with se- like sexual energy. Yeah. Right. The whole thing. So I so you a wake lot. up and she's like, "You ain't shit," and you're like, "I love you, Cassandra," and then you go jerk off uh, with a mango. What? what yeah, but I, to your point though, I would be pissed if I won. Not not specifically with her. It's just like that's. I don't know if any of those dudes, and correct me if I'm wrong, like all of these dudes are like, oh, yes, marriage. I think they're just like, oh, yes, clout. And then and if you yeah. win, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, is there money? There has to be. There's no? got to be money. Let's see. Remember next where you go on a date and it'd be like, you either get a dollar for every minute you're on or you get a second date. <laughs> and guys would be like, money. $37. That's how much your coochie is worth. Yeah, well, yeah, your coochie is worth less than that. Because I would rather take $37 oh, than your coochie. Yeah, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. $36, a, maybe. About 100 k Oh. 100k if you and win. the wife if you win yeah if you're so if you're lucky taxes. enough to get chosen as the oh no this is 100k to be the the either the bachelor or the bachelorette so oh, if you win really? uh i gotta do some more reading hold on yeah yeah yeah. What, can can the guy or the girl in charge just not pick anyone i think she's so. like what's that well, what about that that PO over that pa over there holding the licorice what's what's his deal is he in it this is DP. Clark? He's kind of hot. This dude, boom mic operator. Put it lower so I can deep throw it and show you what I'm about. <laughs> wow. I mean, I don't know. I, I think they're just trying to get more clicks, but hey. Of course. If only a comedian did that idea first. Run me my check. Check. Are you... So, you were so, in that video. I am. Gigi was in that video too, huh? Gigi, Gigi was in the video. In that video, don't you say your mom's hot? Yeah. The stars are aligning. But was this before you said your mom was hot on the podcast? I don't remember. Some mom I should find out when the first mention of that was. It was. All right, hear me out. Gabe, please make a compilation that we can uh-huh. post on YouTube every uh-huh. time Michael has ever said his mom is hot. That's great, yeah. I can mean, do, do we have room for on YouTube for that? Yeah, it's going to be like a two-hour <laughs> like, I think YouTube is going to fill up. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Remember that time I showed you my mom when she was young and you didn't think she was hot, you <laughs> fucking asshole? Hey, Honestly, man. dude. Honestly, bro, if you said your mom was hot this much and you show me a picture of your mom, I'd be like, bad. You know, you know, you know, <laughs> I got, you know, got love, you know, the other person feel good. Sorry, man. I was, uh, uh yeah, no, I, uh. It's a weird situation for me to put you in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Come it's on, really man. weird. Let me meet her one day. Yeah. And I'm like, hi, uh, Marianne. I shake her hand and it's a little too soft. And I go, hold yeah, up, hold up. We done, boys. <laughs> you ever shake someone's hand that's like too soft? And you're like, oh, you've never done any manual labor in your entire life. Yeah, or the the sweaty palm, awful. <laughs> if you have a sweaty palm, you, you need to go in for the fist bump. But you know what I appreciate is when they say sorry after. You'd be like dap up and be like, man, I'm so sorry. I got the sweatiest palms. And then I go, hey, I'm sorry. You that that sucks. You have to deal with it. It actually does really but, suck. But I appreciate the honesty when they don't. And you're like, hold up, did you just get out of an airport bathroom? Everybody has wet hands coming out of an airport bathroom. You know what I hate? When people have wet hands out of the bathroom and they shake your hand, they go, huh, I pee. Not I pee. myself. Yeah. Yes, you did. I look at them and I go, I wish it was pee. And then and I you whip your hand. <laughs> oh, well, anyways, guys, is um, it time? I think it's time. Speaking of hot moms, we have a sock talk. Oh, hold on. I want to do a, From a, hot about mom? a hot mom. About a hot mom. I'm fucking hard. <laughs> Right. No, so this is a question. This comes from Brian. A question. Uh, is Brian says, uh, since Michael's always talking about how hot his mom is, uh, I'm. I was thinking, have you guys, have either of you ever had sex with a milf? I don't. Uh, she's a mom now. I don't know about a milf. Actually, maybe. I don't know. I have. In New York, she was a lawyer or a doctor. I can't remember. Didn't. This is whatever. Didn't know she was married. <laughs> Went back to her house. She was married. Huh? Yeah, she was Jesus married. Didn't know Christ. she was married. Coming to HGTV this week, <laughs> home records. <laughs> I didn't know, dude. Did she have a ring on? No, she oh, did that's not. That's her fault. I know. I walked in. A lot of pictures of kids. Oh no! Kids everywhere. Oh, who are no. these people? These are my kids. Huh? How old? Who? Who? Kids were maybe like two and four, like the young kids. And then I was like, who's this gentleman next to the kids? She goes, my husband. And all of this is after I beat. (laughs) Yeah. I felt horrible. What would you do if all the photos were him in like uh, army attire? Oh, I would have moved to Lithuania. (laughs) And that's where he's stationed. He'd beat your ass. (laughs) Yeah, that, something about, I feel so bad for the guys that go off to fight for the country and their wives like, bye. (sighs) 
Three days goes by. Beep, 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 beep. Hi, Michael, I'm alone again. <laughs> I think he was like on a business trip or whatever. Even worse. Awful. He's selling sporks in Las Vegas at a convention. Yeah. And then she just fucked Hi, up. Hi, honey. Oh, God, that makes me sad. I know. And then she just fucked a bartender. It's not even like... It's not even like I didn't have anything. I still don't have anything, but I didn't have, I had nothing back then. It's just like a bartender, just some probably a hot fetish or whatever. Yeah, but sometimes it's like, that's all. She's I like, I just have a husband. He's like 38. I just need some of that young calf. Yeah. And you're just making a dirty martini. And she says something wild. She's like, you want to know what's even dirtier than that martini? And you're like, is this about your cooter? And then she goes, how'd you guess? Because your cooter's the one talking to me it's right now. <laughs> Um, Anyways, but that wasn't a sock talk. That was just Michael's sock talk. Wait, what was oh, it? Oh, hold on. What? Did you read something? Oh, yeah, he just wanted to know if you guys had ever had sex with milk. You did not notes. read something. Did you read something? Yeah, the Wait, question. run it back one more time. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no, we yeah, answered the question. Got... It just said, have you ever had sex with a milk? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. But, yes, I did. Don't feel great about it. And Trev doesn't really know to answer the, the sock talk. Ha, now, if it was a dilf, I'll tell you. No, I don't know. You dilfs are hot, bro. We have... Older dudes just have a great, like, PR team because all like dad bod thing. Yeah. Look at that. It's incredible. You're like, oh, I'm dad. I don't have to work out anymore. And we're like, no, it's hot. And everyone's like, it's hot. How do we do that? How do we spin the dad bod to be like, oh, this is hot? I just think dads who have like six packs just don't take as good of care as their kids. Dude, my buddy uh, Akash Singh, very funny comic, <clears throat> he has this idea where he says, if your dad has a six pack, he's cheating on your wife. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. Yeah. It's just, it's hard to be worried more about keto than your own kids, you know? I feel like you can do both. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, the, the dads that got the dad bod, like, they put their all. It's like they work and they come home. They're like, this is my, love my life, the, my I, kids. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. six-pack guy is like, I'm home. And the kid's like, dad, dad. And he's like, also, got to go to Planet Fitness. Yeah, Fuck where's you. Equinox? Yeah, yeah, And yeah, then yeah. he just jams a syringe in his chest. Are you doing steroids? I think when, I'm, no. when, I, when I turn a dad, when I turn a dad, when I like become a dad and I don't have like super time to do a gym thing, I'm going to do, I'm gonna do it. Steroids. It's weird being like 60 and just ripped though. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. I want to be 60 and fucking yoked. Like, you play for the NFL? Yes. Just, uh, just. Why do you want to play in the NFL so bad? Because I'm trying to meet him, dude. <laughs> I would love it every time he came to the podcast. She was like, yeah, we were in the car again yesterday. And uh, <laughs> turns out there's a third NFL player every week. You just come in. It's just going to be a different. You've got a starting lineup. <laughs> it's just going to be a different sport. You ever watched soccer before? Why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I only watch badminton and that's it only. But even that would make me feel bad. Just a professional badminton. Badminton, that's pretty neat. Is it? Kinda. Any Like, dude. I any- love badminton. Oh, but look at me. I have a badminton type body. Badminton is so fun. You like pool billiards? I do. Are you good? I like pool because when I do a shot that looks cool and I make it, I go, yeah, everyone here is a bitch. Yeah, there is nothing more manly than hitting a fucking shot in pool and looking oh, yeah. around. Yeah, or you, like, or you hit something with slop and it goes in. You're like, I meant oof. to do that shit. Yeah, you look up, you're like, I'll take everyone's girlfriend in here. Yeah. I don't like being like, yeah, no slop, huh? No, slop. Sloppy toppy. Sloppy toppy, or are you like a more a more like regular slop? Slop. Yeah. Top. Yeah. Raindrop. Slop top. You ever seen a dog that sucking has sucking ra- dick harder than a? <laughs> you got it. Flip flop. New flip flop. Rainbow flip flops. You ever worn them? Very hard. Good they reference. <laughs> Let me ask you this. You ever seen a dog that has rabies? No. Foaming at the mouth? Nope. All right. Gabe, <laughs> you ever seen a dog? Yes. Rabies? Yes. Foaming at the mouth? Yes. That's how I like my sloppy toppy. Gross. Slubby! I want it to look like a Tubby. carnival game. Just the head. Yeah. I'll tell you this. You ever right. seen a third grade volcano project where you put a little bit of Alka Seltzer out there and it's just like Yep. Sloppy toppy drippy droppy. Spit on it. Suck my dick like a <laughs> Velcro shoe. What does that mean? I don't know. Who knows? Gabriel? All right, guys, you want to do a secret sock? Yes, I do. This is an anonymous submission, and they say, uh, I can confirm that a male-male free threesome is awful. For me, at least, it was literally <laughs> just watching my friend rail my girl. <laughs> oh, shit. So this was a homie and another homie just pound. Yeah, I can't. I, oh, I, I would be two that. in my own head. I'd be too like, this is the homie. Like, he, he didn't do enough for this. Because you, if you bring the girl into the relationship, you bring a lot to the table. You brought... The full entree to the potluck, and he's coming with a side of um, just cream, wheat, and mushroom. Well, he like forgot. 
He like, he like he, you went to a barbecue, you brought the fucking chicken. He brought and cock. He, he forgot. And you're like, what do I get? What goes, did you bring? Well, I brought cock. Also, if his dick's better than yours, you're like, hold on, you brought nothing. If anything is better than yours, you're like, this is like that's the best case scenario for the friend. He comes in, he fucks, and then he's like, later, Janet. I'll see you next week at Buffalo Wild Wings. And then the couple still stays together after that that night. And then if she's just laying in bed all quiet and she's looking up at the ceiling and she starts twiddling her toes, you're like, are you thinking about his dick again? And she goes, yes. Because that's, <laughs> that's what it is. You, and then you, he pops up from under the bed and goes, I hope so. Hello. <laughs> but I think if you're doing that, you got to do a little bit of reconnaissance because you got to like, hey. Renaissance? Man. Yeah, Renaissance. The Renaissance fair is titties be bussing. Bussing? <laughs> that's where the word bussing came from. Like, hey, hello, it's fucking bussing. You're like younger, you're like, well, I don't want to go to Renaissance Fair. And you see one photo and you're like, hold up. Just titty meat and then turkey legs? This is better than yours, mom. Oh, man. All right. Um, bussing. But that's what I'm saying. Reconnaissance. I think if you, if you like know that your buddy has got like weak dick, then you can do it. Then you're like, all right, all right, let's do it. But if you, but if you know for sure that your buddy's like packing, if you've seen him in the locker room once or twice, yeah. then, then, then you're out. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, the, the guy, guy threesome, the only time I'd be fine with two guys is the foursome. I think I can wrap my head around that. What if it's two guys on you? <laughs> I mean, for <laughs> equal for, level dick for, for everybody. For podcast content? Let's do it. All right. Macrodosing in a threesome. You guys. Guys, this episode was all over the rails. All over the fucking rails, dude. But hey. But know? alas, this is what this podcast is. If we are on the rails, snooze fest. Okay? We like to be off the rails, talking about how ugly bachelorettes are, talking about how Trev just pitched an all dude. Three. Is that even a threesome? What is that? That's it's a, just a good jolly old time with the boys. <laughs> it's a, good, it's yeah. a nice book club with the boys. That's just hang. Oh, book club. Hey, there's Cock. three of us right here. Cock club. I'll do it. <laughs> you guys You guys don't think I'll do it? Gabe, you down? You think your girl I'm would busy. get upset if we all had a threesome? <laughs> I'll text Walk yourself through it. Could you do it? I would, Gabe, I'd fuck you so <laughs> All right, guys. Holy shit. Well, that's the episode, man. Uh, listen, man, come uh, uh, watch Trevor, or come buy tickets uh, for Trevor and I on tour um, at uh, Blower Comedy and Trevor Wallace dot, or Trevor Wallace Comedy dot com. Also, guys, uh, go to the Patreon because we're going to do uh, a fabulous episode. We're all going to be microdosing on mushrooms and having a jolly old time doing that. So uh, with the Patreon, you get four extra episodes a month for only $5 and uh, the whole back catalog as well. So definitely join that. And as I always say, guys, we love you. Thank you so much for becoming part of this community. Goodbye. Have a lovely day, night, evening, morning. Bye, bye, bye.